Okay, so topic 2, kinematics of linear motion. So learning outcomes is about linear motion. Okay, distance. What is the distance? Distance is a total path length travels in moving from one location to another. So as you know that the distance is scalar quantity and always positive value. So the unit is meter. Okay, how about displacement? The symbol of displacement is S. Okay. Uh, defined as the shortest distance or we call it as a straight line between initial and final point okay, it's a vector quantity so it can be positive or negative or zero value okay for example here we have area at point a b c and d so area move from a to d and return back to b calculate the distance and displacement taken so distance as you know that definition of the distance is all total path length transverse in moving from one location to another so means that you can tambah semua so dia kata dia pergi daripada A to D and return back to B so maksudnya dah pergi 10 campur 25 campur 5 and patah balik campur 5 and campur 25 so the total distance is 70 meter Okay, how about displacement? Okay, displacement is the shortest distance or the straight line between initial and final point. So, they are the vector. So, you must consider the sign of direction. Okay, for example, A to B is 10 meter plus with B to C is 25 meter plus with C to D is 5 meter. And written back means that D to C is negative 5 meter and C to B is negative 25 because the negative sign show that the direction is opposite so uh, the displacement will be 10 meter to the right okay so next we proceed with next linear outcome is linear motion 2.1 a 1 define what is instantaneous velocity average velocity and uniform velocity so before you define all these terms you must know about speed and velocity Okay, speed a distant travel per unit time interval. So it's a scalar quantity. So means that speed is uh, speed formula is come from distance divided by time because distance juga adalah uh, scalar. Okay, so unit adalah meter per second and velocity is a time rate of change of displacement. So displacement divided by time. So dia adalah vector quantity lah sebab dia kawan dengan displacement yang juga adalah vector. Okay, so next kita akan masuklah. First is about instantaneous velocity. What is instantaneous velocity? So, kalau disebut perkataan instantaneous means that dia kata dia adalah the rate of change of displacement at particular time. Dia mesti ada at the time yang dia nak. So, kamu tak boleh suka-suka ambil. Ha, kalau dia kata dia nak time pada 3 second, so you kena cari velocity pada 3 second. Okay, so formula dia adalah ds per dt. So, awak tengok dekat sini. Dekat position A Kereta ni tidak bergerak lah And masa dia adalah kosong And then dia start to move With at position B Waktu dekat position V Velocity adalah 17 meter per second And time taken is 6 second At position B Maksud daripada A ke B Dia ambil masa 6 second Okay So next daripada uh, Next dia akan gerak kepada C At this position Masa yang dia ambil adalah 14 second And then V equal to 25 meter per second. Pada point C, masa yang dia ambil untuk gerak daripada A to C adalah 14 second. Ha, sebab saya tulis T dekat sini, bukan dekat sini. Kalau T dekat sini bermaksud, pada position C, masa yang dia ambil adalah 14 second. Pada position B, masa yang dia ambil adalah 6 second daripada uh, position awal. Ha, okay. So, what is the instantaneous velocity at T equal to 6 second? And 40 second So awak dah tahulah Instantaneous pada 6 second adalah 70 meter per second Maksudnya kita direct baca dia punya Velocity kalau dah diberi So velocity instantaneous at 40 second So awak dah tahu dia adalah 25 meter per second Mudah kan? Ha, itu maksud instantaneous Maksudnya dia mesti At particular time Time yang dia minta Okay next example Okay we have the graph ST graph 
So as you know that ST graph gradient of ST graph is represent velocity. So dia minta calculate the instantaneous velocity at t equal to 3 second and t equal to 7 second. So as you know that the real the real plotted uh, scale is the pink one warna pink ya maksud 2 4 6 8. So means that 3 second and 7 second adalah between this this scale. Maksudnya 3 second dekat sini. Jadi apa yang you boleh buat? Dia nak instantaneous velocity pada 3 second. Jadi kalau kita letak kat sini, okey. Kita tak boleh nak baca dia punya velocity ha, macam directly sebab ini adalah graph ST. So apa yang you boleh buat? You tahu gradient graph ni akan menunjukkan velocity. So kalau kita kata 3 second duduk kat sini Maka gradient dia adalah sama juga dengan kosong sehingga 4 So bacaan dia akan jadi uniform velocity Faham? Maksudnya pada kosong hingga 4 dia akan ada velocity yang sama ha, Jadi kalau awak nak pada 3 second awak kira lah gradient dia ni ha, So 15 minus 0 Okay 15 minus 0 4 minus 0 Okay divide lah So awak akan dapat 3.75 meter per second Okay, how about instantaneous velocity at t equal to 7 second? Okay, kalau tengok kat sini, 7 second adalah duduk between 4 to 8. 4 to 8 second kan? Ha, jadi, kamu kira lah gradient dia. Tapi kamu tahulah ini adalah uh, constant displacement kan? Constant distance atau displacement. So, maksudnya bila constant, jadi velocity-nya adalah kosong sebab tak ada gradient. Okay?